DJI Mini 4 Pro and a DJI Water 2, two of the most commonly confused drones in which to buy. Today, that confusion will be cleared. So first of all, both of these drones are in completely different categories. The DJI Water 2 is an FPV drone and the DJI Mini 4 Pro is a cinematic drone. So what's FPV and cinematic? Well, the full form of FPV is first person view. So you have to fly these drones mainly by wearing an FPV headset like the DJI Goggles 2. And it gives you a very adventurous, thrilling and immersive flight experience. And you can capture shots from a completely different perspective. And many of the times it feels that you're flying yourself. Now let's talk about cinematic drones. Cinematic drones are meant to be extremely stable and have the best cameras mounted to them. Now, you might be wondering, so well, which one should I buy? Let's get to the individual comparison of these two drones and let's see the specs and features. So let's talk about the DJI Avatar. It has a top speed of 27 meters per second and gives you a max flight time of 23 minutes. It has downward and backward visual positioning and it has a 1 over 1.3 in CMOS sensor with the effective pixels being 12 megapixel. The DJI Mini 4 Pro gives you a 34 minute of flight time with the standard battery and a 46 minutes max flight time with the plus battery. But that does set it slightly about the 250 grams mark. I'll tell you why that's important in just a bit. And it gives you a max speed of 16 meters per second. And it has omnidirectional optical avoidance, which is amazing. And it just won't let your drone crash. One very important thing, which you may want to consider while choosing one of these drones is the weight. So the DJI Mini 4 Pro is just uh, uh, below 250 grams and the 250 gram mark is like the criteria in most countries that if you have a drone above that, the 250 gram mark, then you will need a pilot's license to fly that drone. So you may want to consider that because the DJI Mini 4 Pro with only the standard battery is below 250 grams and the DJI a water 2 is 377 grams. So keep that in mind while you're buying your drone. Before continuing, let me show you some amazing footage from both of these drones. Let me give you a slight comparison on the cameras of both of these drones. So the DJI Mini 4 Pro, I didn't tell you earlier, but it uses the same 1 over 1.3 in CMOS sensor, but it has the effective pixels as 48 megapixel over DJI Water 2, which is effective pixels as 12 megapixel. So if pictures matter to you a lot, then this is also a point to keep in mind. Let's talk about one very important thing in all drones, the connection from your RC to the drone. So both of these drones use DJI's latest O4 transmission. But interestingly, even though both of them use the same O4 transmission, the DJI Water 2 gives a range of 13 kilometers while the DJI Mini 4 Pro gives a range of 20 kilometers. I'm not sure why, maybe it might be because of speeds and all, but I'm not sure if any of you knows why this is the case. Then let me know in the comment section below. Now let's get to the burning question. 
which one should you buy? Well, this completely depends on what your requirement and the few important points also which I gave you. So if you want the thrill of flying at high speeds and having a immersive flight which makes you feel that you are also flying, then you should definitely go for the DJI Water 2. But keep in mind that it's a noisier drone, it's a heavier drone, it's a faster drone and it has limited safety features as compared to the DJI Mini 4 Pro. So there's a higher chance of it crashing. Also, one thing to keep in mind is it has a slightly less flight time compared to the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And if you want an extremely stable drone, which will give you calm and very high quality footage, then you should definitely buy the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And it's the drone which I currently own also. And it's amazing. Its safety features are amazing. It will not let you crash the drone. But you have to keep in mind that you must not only rely on the safety features and you must be mindful while flying the drone. It also gives you a much longer range, much higher battery life. And it also gives you omnidirectional optical avoidance. This is the biggest safety feature of this drone. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for you deciding to buy one of these drones. And if you like such videos, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we'll be having many more of these types of videos. If you have any questions about any of these drones or any other questions related to this topic, then don't forget that you can ask me in the comment section below. And if you want to see the in-depth review of the DJI Mini 4 Pro, then click on the video right here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.